When I think back on the times that God has intervened in my life and guided me pretty much without my knowing, one of the biggest times was turned out to be a long period of time. In 1994, Pastor Carl Fisher asked me to be the chairman of the building committee to build a new church here. And I, I agreed to that. Little did I know that would turn out to be an eight year job as we moved into this building in February of 2002. But throughout that process, the hand of God was always there. Initially, we had a five acre parcel on Liberty Road, just north of Powell. The Senate had purchased that for us to build a church on. Well, God brought a guy named Vic Woods into the congregation. And one day he was driving up 23 and noticed a for sale sign on a parcel just north of Home Road. And he decided to turn down the long driveway and see what that was all about. And that's where he met Robin Fosnaw. He was the owner of that property. And when Vic told him what we had in mind, he told us that he had always wanted a church to be built on that parcel. And at that point, through a lot of working back and forth, the asking price of the property went from 1.4 million to 765,000. The 1.4 we couldn't have afforded. The 764, although a stretch, we knew God would be with us. Well then, we went through the process of hiring an architect and it turned out to be a guy who it was a lot like me personality wise and I liked working with him and since I was the chairman I decided that we would use him and he came up with a, a first design and it was very plain and very simple very rectangular and it didn't fit the site at all he knew that but he also knew we had budget constraints and so I told Bob I said, we need something that fits the site. He designed a, he then, he then came back with a design very close to what you're in today. But the initial design was on the south parcel overlooking the ravine in that site. So in the process of that, Robin Fosna sold his property, his back property, the, the house and all, to another gentleman and one of the deals that we had made with Robin was that wherever we decided to put the church, he would route his driveway around it somehow. Well, when we went to the new owner and said that was the way it was to be, he said, I'm not moving the driveway. And we went back and forth, probably a little more heated than it should have been, but we went back and forth and uh, he wouldn't budge. During this time, a guy named Jim Hansen came into the congregation. Jim happened to be the project manager for the Ohio Stadium renovation for coasting construction. He knew a lot about building costs and all that kind of stuff in the commercial side of things. And because of the problem with the back owner and the access, we had to move the building onto the north parcel where it is today. And Jim was able to take a $1.4 million bid for the property down to about 1.15 by value engineering. So in comes Jim. And shortly after the project was built, out went Jim to St. Louis to build a Bessemer furnace. So God put Jim here at the right time with the right skills. God put Vic Woods here the right time with the right skills. And we got into the process of building the property and about halfway through the frame was there. Everybody was working on plumbing and electrical inside. And ODOT came to us and said, if you're going to do your access or access to the property, you need to pay for your access points. And you, you want 30 foot of access. So that'll be $53,000. I went to Ron Ween, who was handling a lot of the finances at the time. I said, Ron, I know you can, you seem to print money sometimes when we need money, but can you come up with $53,000 to do this? He says, Brad, I can't, I can't do it. So we had a meeting with the ODOT people, the architect, the, our engineers, Jim Hansen, a few of the other people and a few of their people. 
down on West Broad Street at their offices in a big conference room. And back and forth we went. My basic message was, look guys, if we can't work around this $53,000 fee, we're dead in the water and we can't go ahead and finish the building. But at some point after 45 minutes or so, they all got up and left the room. And I could see them in there. They were out there. They were waving their arms and talking back and forth to each other. And about five minutes later, they all came back into the room and they said, just forget it. God leveled the mountain. And on we went. The point of this whole thing was God wanted a church on this site. And he wasn't going to let us mess it up. So he was there to do what we couldn't do through the whole thing. And here we are 20 years later, growing and thriving.